Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called monthly transactions, and it's a SQL problem actually. And so what it is is a medium level problem with just uh, one table here. And so what the schema is is you have the kind of unique identifier, the the primary key for each row. Then you have the country that this transaction is happening in. Then you have the state of the transaction. So it's not like the state of the country, but instead it's the state of whether it's approved or the transaction was declined. Then you also have the amount that the transaction was and then the particular date. Now what we want to do is the first thing you might notice is we want to output it um, and format the date to be a particular month of a particular year. And then we have a whole set of columns that we want to produce. But what it basically is, and I'll just kind of read this step by step, is for each country and for each month, so those are our group by statements, is on uh, month and country. We want to uh, count the number of transactions, and then we also want to count the number of approved transactions for the particular country and from that, for that particular month. But then also we want to get, okay, of those transactions, what's the total transaction amount for this month and country? And then also what's the total approved amount um, for this month and country, as you can see here, some are approved and some of them are declined. Okay, so to do this, um, you can just do one kind of single uh, group by, you don't need to use any joins, we just can use this one table that we have. And so let's go ahead and just kind of write out the blueprint here. So this is coming from our transactions table. And we're going to be group buying those two columns there. Oh, I can't type for some reason. There we go. And so what you can actually do is if you kind of know the trick, you kind of think of it, I think immediately, um, where, okay, in MySQL and I'm sure other languages, when you sum on a particular column, you can kind of do it based on like a given condition. So you can kind of actually say, okay, let's sum the, let's say approved total amount to be okay if, and you can put a if or a case statement within here. So if the state, so maybe I can type it out because I'm not good at writing here. So if the state is equal to uh, approved, then we're gonna wanna say, okay, then let's include in this aggregation the amount, which is kind of specified right here. Otherwise, in this kind of aggregation that we have here, um, we're going to just sum zero for this particular row. Oh, that's an O. And so what that kind of symbolizes, okay, let's sum on these kind of amounts only when it's approved, otherwise do zero. And so that kind of handles the case of approved total amount. For this, this is just a simple aggregation on the amount column. And so we don't really care about if it's approved or not. Then the transaction count, well, that's just a count on this uh, group by. But then the approved account, we can do a similar he thing here where we want to sum if and do a similar case where, okay, let's sum if the, um, let me just think here, if the um, state is also approved. And so you don't really need like a if else here. You could use one where it's like, okay, if that, then return one, otherwise return zero. But by default, when you're doing this, it's kind of like a Boolean in a lot of languages where like it just defaults to returning one if it's true and zero if it's not. So you don't really require an if statement. Okay, but maybe it'll make more sense once I show you the code. So what we do is we wanna do this by the particular month but once again, we wanna format it. So you can just do this kind of a simple way where you just take the left-hand side on that uh, particular transaction date column. And just, we want the seven uh, leftmost values. And then we also want the particular country and we don't have to do anything to that. The next field is we want the transaction count. And well, that's just a typical count operation on the ID column. There. And then we also want to do the approved count. And like I said, uh, we can just use 
this sum and we just want to do this whenever we meet the case of where the approved or sorry the state that we're in is actually approved and so then the next thing that we want to do is we want to sum on the uh, transaction total amount and so that's pretty simple since we don't care about the state that we're in we just want to sum, sum on the amount column and so this will just be called the uh, transaction total amount and then finally we also want to sum on the approved total amount oh this is actually the alias sorry and so we want to sum whenever we meet the criteria that we want, which is okay. This is if the state is equal to, oh, I said state, state. Um, if the state is approved, then we want to include that in our account. And here we want to say, okay, if our state is equal to approved, then we're going to add and sum on this particular row's amount. Otherwise, we just sum with zero, and so we don't, we kind of exclude it essentially. Okay, so I think that looks good. Let me just format it a bit so it's a bit more readable. And let's try running it. Oh, uh, does not exist. Test.sum. I don't really see what's wrong here. Oh, it's this one. And it looks like we're just missing a closing bracket. Or no. Sum on the amount. Not sure what's going wrong here. Oh, it looks like just white space here, since there's white space between here. Um, I think it's just confusing me since it doesn't syntax highlight this one below here. But yeah, let's try submitting. And success. So yeah, that's pretty much it, essentially. Uh, once again, when we're reading this, they just say, okay, we want to do this by the particular country and the particular month they're in. So you can just format it uh, so that you take the leftmost values for the particular month that they're in. And you want to group by uh, the country and month here. And so as we're slicing it, we want to say, okay, we want to just count everything for the transaction total kind of count. But for the approved count, we only want to add one for a particular row if it's approved. Otherwise, we just add zero to the count. And then for the transaction total amount, same thing with the count. We just make simple aggregation on the amount. But then for the approved total amount, we want to once again do this only if the state is approved. Um, then we want to include the amount. Otherwise, let's just aggregate on zero for that row. So yeah, I hope it helped and good luck uh, with the rest of your database queries. Thanks for watching.